Inflation in the UK has reached 9.1% for the 12 months to May, a new 40-year high and another bleak reminder of how fast prices are rising during the cost of living crisis. The Consumer Price Index, CPI, measure of inflation, tracks how prices change over time. So if inflation is higher, it means there has been an increase in average prices, which means we're all essentially paying more for goods and services. Put simply, if a loaf of bread that used to cost £1 now costs £1.05, then the rate of inflation is 5%. Inflation is being driven by several factors. Firstly, consumers started spending more last year when the COVID pandemic restrictions were lifted. If there's more demand for goods and services, then prices will generally rise off the back of that. The Russian invasion of Ukraine earlier this year has also caused prices to rise, including a sharp increase in the cost of energy. Agricultural commodities such as grain, which are needed to produce food, have risen too off the back of the crisis. Uh, the Bank of England also notes that there are more job vacancies than there are people to fill them right now. So what this means is employers are having to offer higher wages to attract job applicants, which is then pushing up their costs and that is then reflected in their prices. Bank of England expects inflation to keep rising and says it could hit 11% later this year. Bank of England is trying to keep inflation under control by raising interest rates and last week hiked its base rate for the fifth time in a row to 1.25%. The idea of raising interest rates is that if it's more expensive to borrow, then the Bank of England says people are less likely to spend money. So that then drives down demand and thereby, in turn, should decrease inflation.